Hi, Enlightened Community. Uh, I'm Nico Gentile from Lund University, and together with my colleague Pinka Molmatson, we are coordinating this block of the educational offer Enlightened uh, called Daylight for Humans. The module that I'm introducing here is about non-visual effects of light. The focus is on circadian effects of light, but also to, uh, on other psychological effects of light. Although I'm coordinating the module together with PIM, uh, we are not teaching in this module. We rather have two prominent lectures for you and for your education. The first one is Professor Mark Ria, who is one of the most influential researchers on circadian lighting and circadian entrainment, circadian phototransduction models. It will provide you with in-depth knowledge about circadian effects of light, starting from the fundamentals and reaching the practical implications. It's also filled with very interesting reflections. Then you will get a lecture from Professor Turbjorn Leike, who is a very well-known environmental psychologist. Turbjorn is from Lund University, works at Lund University, and he has been researching in uh, about the psychophysiological impact of light on uh, humans for several decades now. You will get an inspiring lecture from him where you will hear even more detailed information about circadian rhythms, circadian entra entrainment uh, in relation to lighting. But you will also learn about other psychological effects of light. The whole module will introduce a lot of many new concepts, so make sure that you allow enough time to listen, reflect, and assimilate the information. It's not a lot in general, but a lot of things are new, so you need a little bit of time. What do you expect, or what do we expect that you will learn uh, after this module? We think that we will be able to judge and discuss relevant phenomena related to the non-visual system, in particular in relation to the circadian system, also uh, to the psycho uh, psychophysiological responses. From the information that you get, also fundamental knowledge in science, we expect that you are able to judge and discuss the implication of different lighting settings and daylighting settings on the human circadian system, on human well-being, on human emotions, and so on. By the way, the entire uh, module speaks about lighting in general. And it sees daylighting just as another lighting source. You will learn, however, with information that you get from other uh, modules of enlightened, but also Within, uh, within this module, you will learn that daylight is different from electric, electric lighting. It's particular in a way, and it can be said that it's better in relation to circadian system, well-being, and so on. You will learn why and how, so that you can make informed decision when you are going to design daylighting in your future profession. Here you get uh, the structure of this module on visual effect of light. Uh, we will start with introduction on circadian lighting. The big picture is called from Professor Mark Cria, which will tell you in a popular way what is circadian lighting and how knowledge in circadian lighting can change society and well-being of humans. Then we will go more into the, ta into the details of science. Uh, we will speak about circadian phototransduction models and how, which is the knowledge at the moment, actually, that um, allow us to translate a light signal into a circadian response. And from there, we will move to another sub-module, which is closer to practice. It's called circadian entrainment, recommended practice. So how to translate the knowledge, the science knowledge into recommendation for practice. And this will be seen in the context of the um, a recommendation from Underwriter Laboratory DG24480, which is a new recommendation which is used mostly in the US. Uh, it's good to know that there are other recommendations out there, like World Standard and other uh, certification schemes that are introducing circadian um, effects of light in their schemes. But here uh, you will get uh, this specific uh, recommendation as a method. After that, there will be a module, uh, sub-module, 
uh, who is led by Professor Torbjörn Leike, which is called Psychophysiological Effects of Light. It will start with even more information about circadian lighting, uh, seen in a more uh, general or popular uh, way, uh, but enriched with a lot of findings from field studies. From there, you will move towards a combined effect of light on both uh, physiological and psychological aspects. So, for example, effects of light on cortisol level, but also on emotions, behavior, concentration and performance of children or uh, per uh, military personnel, for example. Effects of light on more psychological uh, aspects like alertness and mental health uh, or um, the effect of subliminal flicker from electric lighting. And we will finalize with something that relates um, loosely with daylight because it's not daylight per se, it's view outdoor. So view outdoor, it's something that provides daylight also. So it's connected to daylight, but it's not daylight per se. Um, we will see how view outdoor can improve our well-being through restoration and our and how the type of view outdoor uh, can make this restoration even more effective. For example, by looking and fi at findings of studies on uh, fractals. So enjoy this module. As mentioned, allow some time. It's a lot of new information. And enjoy. <laughs>